Yes. Can you hear me okay, yeah? Yeah, we can. Yep. Excellent. Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, so as Joan has mentioned at the beginning, um, West OS was created by teachers in the West Partnership, and currently we have over 730 video lessons available across the curriculum with more content being continually uploaded. I'll come back to this shortly and look to give you an overview of what content's available and what's coming online imminently. It's worth mentioning though at this point that West OS was a response to feedback from children, young people, their families and practitioners about what would work best for them during periods of remote learning. Um, and, and within West OS, we very much believe that um, children and young people should be able to access high quality learning experiences regardless of circumstances, not just during lockdowns, but at all times. So with that in mind, I think it's important that we start to think about the legacy benefits of West OS um, as a kind of great study tool um, with face to face teaching resumes as well as the support it offers currently. Each West OS video provides input from experienced teaching practitioners. They're designed to support learners to develop skills, knowledge and understanding relating to key learning uh, concepts. And that can be used as a, the, or the videos I should say, can be used as a standalone learning activity or be prescribed by a teacher as part of a wider learning experience. And within today's webinar, um, I'll show you quickly how you can share an individual video with your own learners. As Joan also pointed out, West OS is part of the national e-learning offer and has been made available to all local authorities across Scotland. Currently 25 have access and the remainder should be online soon. I think Joan said 22 accessed via Glow. Off the top of my head, I think that's now 23, as Range for sure have come online this morning, which looking at the chat, Miss Munro and her colleagues will hopefully be pleased with. Inverclyde and Edinburgh have a slightly different access route, and I'll mention that um, in a little more detail shortly. West OS is the recorded element of the national e-learning offer, and with all aspects of the national offer, it's designed to complement the support that's been offered um, within individual schools um, and by individual teachers. Um, so it's really to complement what's there already. Um, and it's probably also important to understand that not only is West OS now been made available across Scotland, but actually colleagues across Scotland are now involved in the development uh, of West OS, and it's really a far richer and uh, more vibrant resource for that input. All the regional improvement collaboratives are now involved in developing West OS, with teachers from right across the country helping us to grow and develop resources. As you can see, we've got a growing list of partners, and I'm going to confess at this point that this slide already looks a bit out of date, is that that list really does grow um, day by day. So hopefully that gives you a bit of background in West OS. For the vast majority of local authorities, um, teachers and learners will access West OS via the West OS Powered by Clickview app, um, which you can find in the Glow app library. Um, that can be accessed using the tab at the top of your own launchpad. And it should say App Library. And if you click on the West OS app, you'll be able to add it to your own personal launchpad for easy access. Just let me know who's saying that. Once you have it added to your launchpad, um, then you're good to go. Uh, we'd probably recommend that you encourage your own school to add, uh, add that to their own school launchpad and also encourage your own learners to add the title to their personal launchpad. It's, quite frankly, it just makes it easier for everyone to access it. And learners will be able to, to access it independently to support their, their own learning um, in their own time. The title itself is called West OS Powered by Clickview. Now, the reason for this is that is quite simply that Clickview are currently the streaming partner of Education Scotland. So for colleagues and learners in Inverclyde and Edinburgh City, they'll access West OS as a library within their current Clickview tile. To further support teachers and learning, learners during lockdown, Clickview have kindly provided free temporary access to their full platform until the 31st of March. Uh, please be aware though that that access is only temporary, so uh, after that you will continue to have access to the growing library of West West videos and support, um, but the additional um, offer from, from Clickview may not, may not be available thereafter. The landing page for now when you access the tile is as you see it on the screen, um, and you should click on the West West tile, um, which will take you in to, to, to the main part. So you will then have the option of selecting BGE or senior phase, and from there you can choose a curricular area. 
There's also an option to select uh, the what is West to West button, and that includes a little bit of information on the platform and a feedback form should you have any comments that you'd like to share with us. Um, so you can find that in there. To give you a very quick tour, if we were to select senior phase um, within the platform and then maths, there's currently content data available for higher, national five and national four. So if we select higher, we can then select different areas of the course. Um, so in this case, if, if we use wave function as, as an example, we then have a range of videos available covering that area of the course. So we can select the video we want, in this case, solving equations using the wave function, which I'm sure is just what everyone wants to do at this time on a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, and your video would appear on the screen. For learners, they can then watch that video before deciding if they want to watch any other content. But for teachers, um, we would obviously generally want to share specific videos with our learners. And you can do this by selecting the share button below the video um, where there'll be a URL link which you can paste into your own virtual learning environment, whether that's Teams or Shobi, et cetera. Um, you could email that link out, you can put it in a PowerPoint um, or any other lesson document that you might share with your students. Students can then follow that link and it will play the video. Um, it's worth noting that they will need to be logged in to watch the video, so they will need to be logged in to Glow and able to access that video. If they are um, if they are using an app on an authority device, for instance, then when they click on that, if they click on it within a Shobi app, for instance, they will then be redirected to their browser. Now they will need to be logged into Glow on their browser, so. Um, so it's worth highlighting that to, to some pupils if they, if they have any issues accessing it. Um, you also have the option to um, to get an embed code, which can be useful for things like Glow Blogs, for instance, um, if you wanted to, to drop a video in there, and you'll have that option um, within that share tab below each video. Hopefully that at least gives you a very quick overview of the logistics of finding and sharing videos um, within West to West. West OS is evolving, that's something that we've been very open about um, and content is being continually uploaded. You can see in the screen that we already have material covering a wide range of the curriculum and we're working hard to increase that all the time. Um, so there is content being uploaded on a daily basis um, and, and that's coming in, as I said earlier, from, from a range of sources across the country, um, which is great. And as, as Joan said, if you, you believe that you have something to access, then by all means, please get in touch. As you can see, there's loads of content and the process coming online, as I said, and that will continue um, in the coming weeks and months. Uh, I said at the beginning, we sh really should be getting to look at this as something that can support us both in the current circumstances, but also in the long run. We also have a significant amount of numeracy and literacy material coming online within the primary BGE, initially at second level, and that will start appearing in the coming week or two. So uh, uh, hopefully on the screen there, you'll be able to see you know, over the coming days, there's significant content coming across a, a variety of, of areas in this in the senior phase. Uh, finally, before I, I, I finish up, um, it's also worth highlighting that our good friends at eScoil um, are also making their recorded content available via WestOS, and that's also being continually uploaded to ensure that learners and teachers can access that material easily alongside other recorded content that we have on WestOS. And in fact, you'll also be able to see on the screen um, under the, a couple of the, the examples of eScoil content within the chemistry section, there's also actually some practical videos there that have kindly been um, provided from Education Scotland and the Edinburgh Napier University. Um, and, and they're providing a, a range of, of practical videos um, across the sciences, which is, is fantastic too. I'll hand over now to Tina Vishaban um, from Hillhead High School. Um, who is the first of three colleagues who have kindly agreed to, to share how they're, they're using some of the content available. Hopefully that certainly gives you a very brief um, overview um, of, of where to find it, how to access it, and I believe there's been a list of, of local authorities shared in the chat that have access um, as of today. Um, and I've no doubt there'll be time for, for any questions at the end. So with that, I'll um, hand over to Tina.